Hello friends. In this video, we will be discussing about arithmetic operators in C programming. So first of all, we try to understand what is operator. In our C program, we used to write different instructions. In our program, we used to write different instructions. Now, if you look at the instruction, instructions are divided into two parts. One is operator. Second one is operand. For example, if you look at this, if you if you look at this instruction, then you can see in this instruction, this plus and assignment. This is equals to. These two are operators, and whereas this B and A are the operands. Now, what we mean by operator and operand? So, first of all, operand means what? it is specifying the data on which we are going to perform the operation and the operator specifies the operation which operation is to be performed on the given data so in this example we can say that suppose we have written c equals to a plus b so in this from this particular symbol or from this particular uh, operator we can get to know that we need to make the sum of numbers sum of numbers but now the next question is the operation addition which we are going to perform that is to be performed on which data so that is to be performed on a and b so here a and b are operands and plus is the operator okay so this is how we can able to bifurcate instruction so every c instruction can be uh, bifurcated in this short of thing that it can be having operator as well as operand now on the basis of operands there are three type of operator exist in c programming so first is unary unary means what operator which contains only one operand the operator which contains only one operand now in this case you can see i have written minus b so minus b so this particular minus is a unary minus suppose for example we used to write minus 10 so actually the data is 10 but since we are writing minus sign over there it is considered as minus 10 so in this case this is operator that is unary minus and along with that only one operand only one value so that all those operators which contains only one operand is known as unary operator another example i will be taking a plus plus so here plus plus is increment operator but along with plus plus there is only one operand so this operation is to be performed on only one value so this is also known as unary operator then another example another thing is binary operator so binary operator means this operator is going to perform operation on two operands so for example here i have written a plus b so a plus b so a plus b so plus is the operator but this operation is to be performed on a and b both it means that this operator requires two operands and the last one is the ternary operator uh, only one uh, operator is there in ternary operator that is known as conditional operator that is known as conditional operator so it has this symbol operand 1 this is operand 1 then question mark this is operand 2 then colon and this is operand 3 so means that in this particular operator conditional operator which consists of question mark and colon it has three operands operand 1 operand 2 and operand 3 so since this operator is having three operands we can say that this is ternary operator so based on the operands we have unary binary and ternary unary has only one operand binary operator has two operands and ternary operator has three operands now next is uh, yes we'll be talking on arithmetic operator now so in arithmetic operator we have five different uh, operators like first is addition you are very much 
aware with that we have already discussed second is subtraction third one is multiplication fourth one is division and fifth is modulo now this modulo is important because rest all you have already used in uh, mathematics also so we are not supposed to discuss more on it but we need to take the case of modulo operator okay so modulo operator it returns reminder so what we mean by it so we try to understand it like this is modulo operator and it is to be performed on 10 and 4 so what we need to do 10 we are going to divide 10 by 4 so we know that 4 2 is a 8 and the reminder is 2 so your answer is 2 so this is the reminder and reminder is the answer for modulo operator okay so modulo operator returns the reminder so what we need to do again we are going to divide our first operand by second operand so 10 divided by 4 and then whatever is reminder is our answer we take another example suppose uh, we will be writing 25 modulo 7 so what we do 25 we divide it by 7 so 7 3 is a 21 so now it is 4 so 4 is the reminder so the answer of this 25 modulo 7 is 4 okay so this is uh, the fundamental idea for modulo operator now there are some special cases in modulo operator so what are these special cases so here if you can see then uh, here minus 10 modulo 4 so here minus sign has been there so are we going to divide minus 10 by 4 no so in modulo what we are supposed to do wherever we have minus sign but we are not considering any sign we will not consider will not consider sign so what we do we perform the operation without considering the sign so forget about minus here only perform 10 modulo 4 10 modulo 4 gives you what 10 modulo 4 gives you 2 okay 10 modulo 4 gives you 2 now how come this minus we have put so we are not considering the sign after performing modulo operation put the sign of first operand put the sign of first operand which is very important put the sign of first operand so here in this case the first operand is minus 10 so we will be putting the sign of minus here now take this example here it is 10 modulo minus 4 so again what we do we perform 10 modulo 4 forget about the sign so which gives me 2 okay and here answer is 2 why because after that put the sign of first operand here the sign of first operand is what positive so here answer is 2 in this case minus 10 modulo minus 4 forget about sign it is 10 modulo 4 which gives you 2 but the sign of first operand is minus so it is minus 2 okay so the rule is what if there is a minus sign in modulo operator we need not to consider about it we need to perform operation without considering the sign and at last we need to put the sign of the first operand okay so uh, this is uh, clear now another thing we need to consider that if the first operand is smaller than the second operand in this case you see 5 modulo 10 here we have 5 modulo 10 so if the first operand is smaller than uh, second operand then answer will be first operand answer will be first operand you are not supposed to perform the operation why so so what we need to do we are supposed to divide 5 divided by 10 but now we know that it is not possible so what we will be putting we will be putting 0 here so here it will be 0 and the remainder is 5 so in this way also we can say but you are not supposed to do this there is a rule or there is a clear cut understanding that if the first operand is less than the second operand then the answer is the first operand itself okay so i hope you are clear up to this and the last one there is one constraint 
constraint of module operator that is it will not work for real values it will not work for real values real values mean what suppose i'll be writing 10 modulo 2.3 so this will not work why because 2.3 is a fractional number it is not a complete number so since this is com incomplete number modulo cannot work on it so it will prompt an error so you need to keep in mind that modulo operator will not be perform operation on real numbers or incomplete numbers so you need to keep in mind this particular thing okay so this is all about arithmetic operators okay and very specifically we need to work upon we need to understand the concept of modulo operator okay thank you